Hey, how's it going, fam? It's D here, episode two. Man, I sincerely want to apologize for all my supporters, all my people that have been wondering where I've been. Uh, fortunately, this time has been kind of busy for me. Got a whole stuff, a lot of stuff going on and stuff. So, please, please forgive me. I will definitely try my best from now going on to, you know, be more consistent um, with everything. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get into it. So this episode, I'll be talking about Ghost Notes. That has been one of like the highest, I think the highest, probably apart from Groove, probably like I think Goosebump, Goose Notes, I say Goosebumps. Ghost Notes has been one of the high demand questions people have asked me, how do I do it? How do I apply it? it it's, I find it kind of funny too, because I don't even realize that I do it because that this was actually a ghost notes was actually a, a huge thing I was really trying to um, get you know for me growing up you know learning bass um, especially a lot of the people that I look up to the way they applied ghost notes and things uh, were always so phenomenal to me um, so uh, I will uh, do so this episode and uh, try and help as much as uh, I can. So let's get into it. So Ghost Notes, to anyone that doesn't know what Ghost Notes is, all Ghost Notes is, is it's really just an accent. Um, so for instance, um, so Ghost Notes is really, well, the ghost note would be here. See, now, what I am doing, it's nothing crazy. Um, all I am doing is I am accenting within that time frame, depending on the song or depending on the groove or whatever. All I'm doing is I'm accenting in that little space of pause. Remember pause groove if you haven't, or rest groove, go to episode one. Uh, all I'm doing is I'm creating a little thing in that, you know, brief bar or whatever to create an accent. You gotta, the ghost notes is like, you know, drummers. You know, the drums and bass, I'll probably, I'll probably do definitely a video on that, um, how drums and bass and it's so important. But Neither here nor th that's neither here nor there. Um, when it comes to ghost notes, it's all about accents. So, all you know, using that one, that use applying that one note, that one ghost note, um, in that little time frame, right? It, it, it's all I'm doing is. So my hand is right is it's it's still placed here, and you know my. Uh, plucking hand. All I'm doing is so just if you, you need practice I'll just keep doing that if it's a do a me And I mean that 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 is a way that you know helped me. Um, this again, this is just what my goal is with you know these episodes. It's not to show you exactly in a sense what to play, but my mind, explore my mind and see how I would approach these things, right? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what Ghost Notes is. It's nothing complex in it it's just you playing a dead note so it's called a ghost ghost note just a dead note within you know that time frame right um it could be played another question that was asked was do i play when i am playing ghost notes do i how do I do it? Do I, uh, 
um, ghost note on the octave of the note that I'm trying to accent off. So for instance, am I, so am I accenting on the octave, the higher octave? The answer is most of the time, yes. I mean, yeah, that's what I do. So it's usually two. So I would accent here. Yeah, that's <laughs> today will probably be a very short straight to the point episode I will do um, a Penti versus apostolic video now with that to anyone that doesn't know Pentecost uh, church has a set certain groove apostolic has their sound in a certain groove that they do all if you hear any soul winners or anything Elder Mercu or any of the theme songs they both have their unique styles um, from what growing up I've seen was Apostolic was way more complex um, you know the bass lines that you know you hear with so the soul winners records are ridiculous um, in this next part of the video I will just show you um, you know an example of how I would play one of their songs. So yeah, that was my little way of showing ghost notes. Um, yeah, everything that I'm doing is really not that hard. Um, again, episode one, I was talking about the basic principles. That's everything that I'm doing. Um, there may be, you know, there's probably like, I don't know, like maybe like these little touches of... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there was, I think probably at the end too, I did, uh, all I'm doing is, Again, it's just that little space. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, guys, this is episode two. I will come back to you again. Um, we'll start getting more into nitty gritty stuff, um, more details. Um, coming very soon. Please, again, I deeply apologize for my tardiness. Just wanted to show you something real quick. Um, yeah. God bless you guys. Continue to like, subscribe. Hey. Go for the serious. Like, hey, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. May God continue to bless y'all. And always remember, it's all about the groove. All right, peace, guys.